Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So here is another CVS haul for this week. So the next week's ad is up on the app or you can probably find it on the website. I did start scrolling through next week's ad and there are quite a few deals, but with the extra bucks that I have to roll before my um, holiday, I wasn't that confident that I could do, well, I can roll all of my extra bucks. So I decided to do another a haul to uh, this for this week and do a few more other uh, deals i did have a 10 off of 70 that was sent to my um card so i did utilize that as well and so um like always i'll go over the breakdown of each of the deals show you my receipt and let you know how much i paid so i wasn't expecting to go to cvs but because of the deals that are happening next week i felt like i needed to just roll a few uh extra bucks this week it'll burn a little bit um to get me on the right path before my holiday so the first deal i did is the userin deal so it's not an amazing deal but um i it's something that we use and i don't mind burning some extra bucks so the userin it is spend 20 get 10. so i picked up two of these skin calming lotions they are 9.99 in my store so two of them did come to 19 dollars and 98 cents I printed two $2 coupons from coupons.com. So I paid $15.98, I got the $10 back. We got to be a cost of $5.98 or $2.99 each. So expensive, usually we can get them for pretty cheap if we have like a four for 20 CRT. But overall, it worked out to me because I did have that 10 over 70. The next deal that I did is this Ensure. So the Ensure and a few other products, um, they weren't tagged in my store, but I did see the ad. It is buy two, get five. So I did pick up two of these uh, uh, six packs. So this was the cheapest one that I could find. They are $11.49 each. So two of them came to $22.98. We do have a seven off of two coupon from a previous insert. It did expire on the 14th. I was trying to see if it would work. It beat, so I just left it. But there were $3 um, Peely coupons on it. So I did hand the $3, $3 Peely coupon. That beeped as well. But because it was uh, still valid and it was actually on the product, she actually had to manually, um, she manually adjusted the price of the item down by $3. And I was worried at first if that would affect my 10 off of 70, but um, I did have, uh, the total came to like 73. So that didn't uh, cause an issue with my CRT. So basically they are $22.98. I used that three of two, Peely coupon. We also have a five of a two digital that did double dip and come off. So basically after those, I paid $14.98. I got the $5 back. Work out to be a cost of $9.98 or $4.99 each, which is a lot. But overall, I was still happy to pick those up. The next deal I did is the cover girl. So the cover girl is uh it's a tier promotion, but I did the buy three get seven. So I picked up two of these um eyeliners my store was quite bare so i kind of had to like spend a little bit more than i, no I normally get because you can get the cheaper ones for like 529 but these ones are 649 each so i picked up two of those and i picked up an eyebrow pencil for uh 579 so for the three of these it did come to 18 dollars and 77 cents i used three of the three dollar manufactured coupons from a previous insert those coupons actually expire uh, tomorrow uh, but CVS does accept expired coupons so if you still have them the deal next week I think is buy two get six so it could be a money maker if you can find some of those really cheap eyebrow pencils or the eyeliners my store they let me know that um, they only get a shipment every two weeks so if it wasn't uh, if they didn't clear out two weeks prior they will get a shipment in so i don't know if they'll restock for next week which is why i picked them up now and just utilize my coupons but it might be a better deal next week if your store has them and you can use those expired coupons in the end i paid uh, 9.77 i got the seven dollars back work out to be a cost of 277 or 92 cents each which is expensive usually we get those for free or a money maker and the last deal i did is the compete so i just posted a video um 
before this on Rite Aid. And so I did that Rite Aid uh, last night uh, with the Compede or with the Ibotta. It did reset for me straight away this morning. So while I was at CVS, I thought I'd pick this up. So if you don't have a Rite Aid in, the in your area, you could probably do this one. Um, it's not a money maker, but it's still pretty good if it's something that you use. So the Compede, their regular price of $11.99, buy one, get $4 back. So I did pick up one for $11.99. I did use that $5 manufactured coupon from uh, last week's insert. So I paid $6.99. I got the $4 back. And I did get $2.50 back from my barter. Work out to be a cost of $0.49. Cents. So like I said, um, I think at Rite Aid, it was a money maker overall. But to get this for $0.49 cents is pretty good. And if you do have like a threshold coupon, like I had that 10 over 70, this is a very, very good filler. And it also allows you to uh roll your extra bucks into i bought a money or cash and so that's basically it i will show you my receipt really quickly so over here you've got the insure so this is the first one that she had to manually adjust from 11.99 to 8.49 um because the coupon beeped there are my three cover girl there's my two userin there's my other insure and there's the comp so the coupons that I have here are the two dollar coupons for the uh, Userin, the $5 coupon is for the Compede, the three $3 coupons is for the CoverGirl, and then you don't see the Insure one because she manually adjusted the price. There is my $5 off Insure Digital that did double dip, and there's my 10 off of 17. And so there are all of the extra bucks that I did roll and that I paid 72 cents. I did get back the $10 for the Userin. I got back $7 for the CoverGirl. I got back $5 for the Insure. And then you also got the Glucernin if you want to get that one. I think that works out to be cheaper. My store doesn't um, carry that product. And then also $4 for the Compede there. So really quick, uh, basically for all these items before coupons, it's, it would have cost $73.72. None of these items are on sale. So if you did have a percent off coupon, you could uh, do these deals and use that percent off coupon as well. I had $26 worth of coupons as well as that 10 of a 70 CRT. So after all coupons, I paid $37.72. I got back $26 in extra bucks as well as $2.50 for my barter. So for all these items, it worked out to be a cost of $9.22, which is not bad. Um, if you're going to go in there and pick up some insure or something like that, um, getting all these items, other items for free is pretty good. Um, if you watched my video a few weeks ago, there was a glitch happening with CVS. They've corrected the glitch now, but... Um, extra bucks were double dipping so if you used the paper extra bucks so if you went to the store and used this at the register um it will come off but then it would still stay on your account so you could then resend it to your card and use it on another transaction and so because of that glitch um i did mention i did mark it here this 10 and this uh five so those 15 um i've used them before and then i was still able to resend them to my card so that was part of the glitch where i got 15 dollars in basically free CVS money, I would say. So for me, yes, this cost $9.22, but I didn't really roll um, a lot of extra bucks because 15 of that was from the glitch. So to me, this ended up working out to be a small money maker, which I'm, I'm happy about. But if you weren't, if either, if you were, did not um, get onto that glitch that happened, um, this worked out to be a cost of $9.22, which is still not bad. Um, and then I was able to uh, burn a few extra bucks and get 250 back for my barter. So I ended up rolling to get some cash. And so that's basically it. I think that's it for me for the week. Um, so if you haven't watched my other video, I did uh, post a CVS haul a few days ago. There were three uh, weekly deals that I did there. The Colgate, the L'Oreal, and the Paparazzi. So those work out to be basically free or a money maker and then i did pick up a few 90 percent off uh christmas clearance so 
few deals here um, at CVS this week. You do have until tomorrow to do most of these deals. And then we do have a new week starting on Sunday with some more deals. And I do plan to almost burn a lot of extra bucks next week before I go on holiday on Friday. And so, yeah, here is my CVS haul. Thank you for joining me. Gaga, 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 gaga